Hi. This is my holding tank for the seedlings that are waiting to be planted out. Using the float rafts is ideal because I can keep them in here until I am ready to plant them into the main ponds. This is just a circular above ground pool. You can often pick them up quite cheaply and they are in fact um, ideal for aquaponics. Now for those of you who uh, don't want to um, float in uh, these float rafts, what I have here is a small garden with all sorts of different vegetables in it and I have put the um, koi which is a coconut recycled husk medium into these baskets and they just float on top of the water in the floaters and as you can see it's quite an intense growth I have just two baskets here that constantly float on top of the water and here you can see some of the roots that have worked their way out These are my seedlings that have been transplanted out of my seedling pond. The ones that don't go into my aquaponic system to grow out and sell are transferred over here to my nursery. These seedlings all go to market and are sold as seedlings. All my seedlings are in these little koi pockets where they grow out. Easy to transplant straight into your garden or into your aquaponic pond. Beautifully grown. These are passion fruit, tomatoes, Calendula, which um, is ideal to uh, repel aphids and a lot of other bugs, also good to eat. Over here you have the pak choy and thyme, silver bees. There is some chamomile ready to go to market. Broccoli. Over here I have my mineralization tank. I keep it covered up uh, so that the uh, bacteria can grow. If the bacteria gets too much light, it dies up, it dies back. And this is the biofilter which is also my fingerling pond. I let them grow out here before I add them to the main pond which is over there. These float rafts here they double as a hide for the fish and also I grow a lot of produce on it. And hopefully what you can see here is a lot of the aquatic weeds that grow in the water. I leave it there as it is also a food source for the fingerlings and also the um, crayfish that live in this pond also feed and hide amongst the aquaponic uh, oh, aqua weeds I should say. Now this water is shared with the main pond. When I transfer the fingerlings there is no acclimatization required. I just um, transfer them from this pond into the main pond. This is a section of the fingerling pond where I um, cultivate duckweeds and the fingerlings feed on this on a regular basis. Those float rafts there act as a barrier so that the duckweed doesn't float into the main pond.
Here is some pineapple growing. This is the third year that uh, that particular plant has been growing here. I get about 10 pineapples a season out of my aquaponic pond. And they are all growing in uh, small pots that are sitting on the bottom of the aquaponic pond. There is some chamomile. And here I've got some, uh, a good crop of melissa. That is uh, some sorrel there, silver beet, spinach. And this is a particularly nice vegetable. It is the red vein sorrel or ruby sorrel. A lot of these uh, vegetables I sell at the market. I have way too many just for myself. The float rafts are an actually an uh, ideal way of growing vegetables and fish all together. It simplifies aquaponics. And here I have a wonderful crop of nasturtiums. They are also delicious in your cooking, either raw or as a condiment. And here is a uh, eggplant, also all in float rafts, beautiful lettuce, and absolutely delicious lemongrass. These tanks have all been joined together by 300 millimeter pipes. This was my first setup nearly 17 years ago. And these of course are my watercress. Absolutely delicious and ideal to grow in aquaponics. Full of antioxidants and a nice strong peppery flavour.